three of the Western Regional Native Hawaiian Convention in Las Vegas. Kamakapili caught up with musician Zachary Lam, who hosted one of today's sessions. It is the third day of the Continental Western Region Native Hawaiian Convention put on by the Council of Native Hawaiian Advancement. We are here at the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino where the day had started off strong with a general session leading into multiple breakout sessions yet again. And I personally have to say the topics of these sessions are fascinating from uncomfortable conversations that need to be had, but also conversations that are a little bit more lighthearted, but very educational and entertaining at the same time. One of those being Mele beyond entertainment. Mele means music and usually we just think of the performance of it. But we're here with Zachary Lum, who is a well-established musician himself, but also the executive director of Kahuli Leo Lea. So you are putting on, or you had just wrapped up this convention, uh, your, your discussion on Mele beyond entertainment. What does that mean? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, for, for our organization, Kahuli Leo Lea, we really see Mele as not just uh, Hawaiian music or not just Hawaiian language music, but actually actually kind of like a theory and methodology for how we go about doing our work. And I guess our work, uh, one could say, is Native Hawaiian uh, production, uh, media. So how do we create, how do we use mele as, um, as a cultural practice and apply that to things like events, films, of course recordings of mele, and, and so on. That's, that's really what we're, we're excited and we, we're excited to share. I, th I think it's beautiful because when we look in, of course, ancient Hawaii, it was before written language. It was all through mo'olelo, chants, and music. So for you being a musician, what do you see the value of mele and, and song? You know, the thing that I like to tell people is that every day we wake up and we go through our lives and we read, right? We have a written language that is that allows us to uh, transfer information, learn, and, and disseminate information, right? But we can't imagine a world where we have no written language. But that was, for the most part, the world of our ancestors, right? And some may think, well, what is that lack of development? In my, in my mind, that's actually a beautiful and ancient technology that they had to be able to use the, the, the spoken word, the performed word, whether it's chant, whether it's mo'olelo, to retain information and not only disseminate that information later, but the practice of retaining that, that performance is the method through which we continue to constitute who we are as Hawaiians. And is that the goal of your organization, Kahuli Leo Leo? What, what is that organization, organization all about? So, uh, to make it short, our, our mission is to catalyze Aloha Aina, a sense of who we are, grounded in where we are as Hawaiians, via cultural practices like mele. So when we do things like the Hawaiian Airlines May Day, right? We, of course, it's a it's a beautiful production with Robert Casamero, Keohoe, et cetera, et cetera. But we, what we also intend to do is make sure that we are able to layer in messaging that we think is important and relevant for the time being. So then, when somebody anywhere from the person who just got off the plane in Hawaii to somebody who's their, their whole life can enjoy aspects and layers of this beautiful presentation from the hula in its aesthetic beauty to the hula and the mele in the, the, the importance of the information and the culture that continues to live in those songs and dances. Right on, bro. You are really moving and shaking in your own space as well. And if you want to know how great of a musician he really is, listen to Keho amazing band thank you again brother Thanks, this is again the third day of the native hawaiian convention right here in las vegas this is the last full day tomorrow will be the last day but it will just be a portion of the day and that will be wrapping up everything taking place here but not to worry for those who couldn't make it here there will be a native hawaiian convention back at home come november kamakapi with k 2 into news working for hawaii back to you in the studio